neuroscience has identified hypervigilance as a real neurological condition, where trauma literally rewires your brain's threat detection systems to scan constantly for danger, even in safe environments. According to research on post-traumatic stress, trauma changes your brain structure by enlarging your amygdala, the fear center, while shrinking your prefrontal cortex, making you more reactive to potential threats and less able to logically assess actual safety levels. Scientists discovered that hypervigilance develops when your nervous system learns that missing warning signs could lead to physical or emotional danger. So your brain becomes hyperactive in scanning for micro-expressions, tone changes, and environmental cues that might predict threat. The research reveals that hypervigilant people often have enhanced awareness and intuition because their brains process significantly more sensory information than others. But this constant alertness is exhausting and prevents your nervous system from ever fully relaxing or feeling safe. Neuroscientists found that hypervigilance creates chronic activation of your sympathetic nervous system, leading to physical symptoms like insomnia, digestive issues, chronic pain, and immune system dysfunction because your body never gets to rest and repair. Studies show that children who grew up in unpredictable or dangerous environments often develop hypervigilance as a survival mechanism that continues into adulthood even when the original threats no longer exist, creating exhaustion and anxiety in situations that are actually safe. The breakthrough discovery is that hypervigilance can be healed by slowly retraining your nervous system to distinguish between real threats and trauma-based false alarms through specific therapeutic interventions that work with your brain's neuroplasticity. Research shows that recovery involves teaching your nervous system that it is safe to relax and that constant vigilance is no longer necessary for survival. Follow for more trauma neuroscience, comment if you are always scanning for danger, and share with someone whose nervous system needs permission to rest.